Hey, what's going on, Nubs? My name is Gonub, and welcome to another video of Pokemon Go! And today we're going to be talking about the new raid boss after Garatina, Cresselia, featuring a trio between me and two other people facing against the Future Sight variant. This was done with best friend damage and uh, no dodging, as well as no weather boost. Um, so, if you just want to watch the fight, you can mute me now, skim through this video. Um, just go straight to the end if you want. But before you go, let me know if you guys would prefer to see everyone's point of views when doing these type of videos. If you want to see my screen and if you, like one to two other screens, um, I'll try and do that for you guys. And as always, if you want to see the individual Pokemon that were used for this fight, it will be on the right over there so you guys can see the levels, the IVs, uh, and the movesets. During this fight, we did have to use revives. We did have to enter back in at least once, but it's an easy fight. Cresselia does not hit too hard. I think this is the more difficult version. Cresselia has uh, Aurora Beam, Moonblast, and Future Sight as its three charge moves. And for its quick moves, it has Confusion and Cycle Cut. I believe this was a Confusion Cresselia just because of the delay between charge moves and its attack animation was kind of slow. Cresselia is not known for its big attack stat. Reddit user Soul Calibre, uh, I think it was the one who, or Soul Caliber, sorry if I butcher your name, but he was the one who brought it up on the Soul Road Reddit that said a funny fact that uh, Smoochum has a higher base attack than Cresselia, which is ridiculous because that's a baby Pokemon and this is a legendary Pokemon. Cresselia really shines uh, through its defensive prowess, um, just like the other Regis. Unfortunately, in Pokemon Go, uh, because it's a legendary Pokemon, you can't really see a use for its tankiness, mainly because you can't put legendary Pokemon in gyms. And when you're bringing, bringing Pokemon to raids, you're not looking for a tank to survive, because uh, you're trying to beat the timer. Its tankiness is far less utilized in this game compared to the older Pokemon games. Let's actually start talking about the raid. Cresselia is a pure psychic Pokemon, uh, so it's only weak to Bug, Dark, and Ghost. It resists fighting and a psychic. So if you were sort of prepared for Garatina in using Ghost counters, so we're using the same Gengars and the same U2s that we did for our Alolan Marowak uh, team, and T-Tars as well, I think, for one of the other accounts. If you have more people, you could always deviate um, from that. Those levels don't have to be exact. Uh, having four people, I believe there's a breakpoint at level 30 that you should hit with Ultra Friends. Um, and at Best Friends, there's an extra one you can hit at level 35 per mon. So just make sure you have your mons around there. And just be prepared to uh, heal up. Uh, my tip, uh, if you watch the video, is you can see me actually leaving the fight uh, on my sixth Pokemon uh, because the death animation, if you wipe out, is a lot slower than if you're just leaving, reviving, and then coming back in. Um, so for my own personal safety bubble, uh, I leave around when my last Pokemon has have help, as you can see. Another tip, uh, if you guys didn't know, if everyone who has entered the raid is in the lobby, the boss actually regains health. And if the boss regains health, you will probably fail the trio, which is, you know, not what we want. Another tip is to manage your items well. Um, that means get rid of your unnecessary potions, super potions, and to an extent, maybe your hyper potions, if you have a lot of max potions. Um, you just want to be able to click on the bag button and hit max revive as fast as you can without scrolling. On some devices, uh, that inventory screen can sometimes lag, which will slow down your revive time, uh, which will make you like miss more opportunities to hop back in and get uh, the few extra hits you need to finish off the raid. This battle got a little bit close. I think we shaved it off with like 10 to 20 seconds left. Um, but we ended up with a W. I want to say thank you to my partners in doing this, Venom, Zoo, and Mia a Remix. Uh, without them, this trio wouldn't have been possible. Um, if you want to see more Pokemon Go content, um, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash gonub. Link will be in the description below. Um, I stream Pokemon Go uh, raids every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. 
um, sometimes over the weekends as well. So come out and check. Around 5 to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is when I'm usually live. So go on and uh, check that out. Leave a comment in the description below just to let me know what you guys want to see next. Are you excited for the new upcoming raid bosses? Are you already tired of Cresselia raids? Um, personally, I, because Cresselia is not meta, I am hesitant in doing a lot of these raids. Cresselia is one of the Pokemon I used in XY. I have some sentimental value to this Pokemon, um, but besides that, it's probably going to sit on their box unless PvP comes along and like spins up everything else. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, have a good night, and uh, enjoy this beautiful catch on this Cresselia. Later nubs.